there are good runs, there are bad runs, and then there are runs that make you wanna rip off your running shoes and light them on fire. Yeah, I was in the middle of one of those recently when I was saved by a white knight with a selfie stick. Yes, non-elite runner, YouTuber extraordinaire, and unofficial mayor of Chicago's Lakefront Trail, Kofuzi. A trick from his YouTube channel helped me turn around a really bad run recently, and I think you should hear it. First, let me set the stage and see if you can relate to this situation. You're out doing either a hard workout or even a race where you know there's a certain pace you need to hit, a pace you should be able to hit because you've been training for it. Yet, you're falling behind. You're losing steam. It feels like a lost cause. That was me recently, two miles into a pretty critical tempo run for an upcoming half marathon. Failure would mean that I'd really have to start reevaluating my goals for this race. I looked at my watch, and what do I see? My goal pace, getting farther and farther away. Well, that negative voice in my head was getting louder and louder, saying, it's over. Why bother? This hurts. You're too far behind. Just call it now. At that moment, I pulled out two mental tricks. The first was to say to myself, if you want to quit or you want to slow down, fine. But you have to wait until the halfway point. Push yourself another half mile, and then if you have to stop, stop. That kept me in the game. But this next trick actually changed the game. It came straight from a Kofuzi live stream with Tommy Runs back in August of 2021. They were talking about how to trick your mind into keeping a difficult pace. Tommy, who's an amazing runner and creator in his own right, shared how his coach told him about doing surges in speed to overcome tough moments in races. Well, at that moment, I remember the conversation and I said, what do I have to lose? So I went from struggling to maintain my half marathon pace and ready to quit to surging to 10K to 5K pace for just a half mile. That was the deal I made with myself. I don't know exactly how, but that was enough for me to find this other gear. Suddenly, half marathon pace was comfortable. And this run that was getting away from me turned around in a big way. I not only picked up all the ground I lost, but also some nice Strava trophies along the way. And I'll tell you, the sense of accomplishment, it was like five races combined. All because I conquered the biggest obstacle any runner can face up here. And I got it from watching a YouTube video. <laughs> Imagine that.